Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Fleischer from Chadwell St. Mary um, and um, I'm going to provide you with an overview for your writing this week. Now last week you looked at um, the features of a non-chronological report and what they are and then you were given a task towards the end of the week to start your research. So hopefully you have done some research and you've got some information about that. Um, what you're going to do this week is actually to put that research into a plan and then eventually you're going to write it so just to recap what your task was for your research you were supposed to research basically um, and prepare a non-chronological report for the Tate Arts Gallery on a chosen famous artist you needed to choose one artist from the the, the choices that we gave you so you had Salvador Dali Claude Monet, uh, Pablo Picasso, and Vincent van Gogh. Hopefully you've chosen one uh, and you found information using reliable sources and also not just your internet, but possibly books um, that you already have. But, and today or this week, you're going to look at planning um, and then eventually writing. Now, in terms of your planning, we have provided you with a template. Um, you can create your own template or you can use any one of those that we've given you and you're going to um, you don't have to print it you just need to reproduce the same kind of format in your book or on a sheet of paper wherever it is that you're doing your planning um, and basically you need to think um, about the information that you have and how you're going to put that or record that in plan um, in, in note form remember to put that in note form but make sure you've got an introduction and then the different parts of your research you know and the different subheadings like you have for your features um, so that and then your conclusion so that you're ready for your writing which will start on the Wednesday. Now when you start your writing you have to remember to include the features that we talked to you from last week. So we are looking at um, heading, making sure you've got an introduction, um, your subheadings, diagrams or images um, that you've um, got off the internet, um, captions for those diagrams and images. Um, organizing your work into paragraphs and also making sure that whatever information you're putting in there is factual and then finally your conclusion um, hopefully you'll be able to set your work out in columns if you need to um, or any way in which you want to present it um, as part of your writing as well we want you to focus um, on your year five six spellings so we provided you with a list of them at the end of the slide or the powerpoint so please have a look, try and use them, make sure you use a dictionary, find the meaning of those words, see if you can find some synonyms of those words and include those in your writing. And when you've finished, during your editing time, can you check that you have spelled them correctly? Um, also, we want to encourage you to include your, your six writing skills, which we're hoping uh, by now that it, you have become almost secure in some of them, if not all. Um, and then they again they are provided at the end of the PowerPoint so please have a look at them so you know you know we're expecting you to use your modal verbs your adverbs the range of sentence types and sentences uh, please include all of them um, also think about the tense that you're using um, the correct use of your tenses and then finally put some pictures in um, or diagrams in wherever it's needed I'd like you to go to the end of the PowerPoint and you should find pictures on how um, other pupils have presented their non-chronological reports and then you can choose one way of presenting it or you can make up your own. Um, and then finally, we expect you to do some editing. Okay, so you need to remember that it's part of your writing process, very important. Um, you can have, uh, you can edit in a different color. You need to think about the spellings um, or how to improve, you know, single words or actually a whole sentence within your writing. Um, and again, think about, you know, adding to it, you know, take changing your sentence structure. Very important, um, including an adverb where necessary. So think about all the different ways that you could edit and improve your writing. Um, and then finally, we want you to tick off the features you have used in your non-chronological report when you're done. Um, 
if you do want us to have a look which will be really lovely to see please send us an email to your year group email and we will have a look and, and feedback to you so good luck and stay safe